Remember that you are not human. Nobody is from here. You are a spiritual being, but you've forgotten. And expansion of consciousness is really regaining consciousness from sleep. It's getting the full understanding of who and what you truly are and living that completely. And it's important for this study that you go beyond your humanness, go beyond your brain and your brain's understanding or what do you think, you know, is its understanding. From my perspective, humans are funny. I, I talk a lot about the inconsistencies uh, in the human life form because they crack me up. And um, we need to have fun with the human life form because it's really silly, you know, and we should not take ourselves seriously because we, we don't have to. We only expand our consciousness through love, through joy, through happiness. It does not ever happen through suffering. Suffering is part of the complex that holds you back from expansion. So we try to emphasize on the fun part. And it's learning that you as a spiritual being, you incarnate many different places. You've been in so many different life forms, so many different dimensions. And after this one, you will keep going. So you're a visitor. You're in this monkey suit because you need a vehicle to be here and to study through this life form as a filter so you can experience yourself in life in a specific way. But as I often say, you know, humans share about 50% of their DNA with banana. So how smart are we, right? And there's something about that. When, when you think of this as a relatively young life form with a relatively low intelligence and understanding, how much value does the human perspective have when it comes to understanding existence? So all these man-made religions and philosophies and all that, it's wonderful. It's humans trying to figure things out, but it's not very advanced. And for as long as you use your body and your brain and your human as a starting point of your spiritual studies, you will not really go anywhere because the outer rim will be how far the human life form can stretch, how far your human mind and brain can stretch. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not very far. So what we're about is going far beyond that. Make no mistake, what I teach is extremely advanced. Uh, I make, you know, the most out there fringy scientists in physics, I make their head spin because they're desperately trying to grasp what I teach because they know that what I teach makes sense. They just need to find the connections in the models. You need to go beyond your human intelligence. And in a way, it's easy because you are not human. So stop pretending that you are, right? It's, it's leaving that behind because your human is not very interesting. It's got an expired date and a life is very short. You exist forever. And in all life forms, we have this kind of off switch. We have the ability to go beyond the consciousness in the life form simply by choosing to do so. You are not limited by your human because you are not human. You're in one and to work on your karma, you need to identify with it. And that's how it gets stuck. And then we spend our lives trying to figure out how to get out of it. But the key is to get into it and understanding that you know, being in this reality is extremely valuable. Once you understand what it's for, once you connect with your karma and your own spiritual studies, then it can utilize being here. You can utilize everything 
that this dimension life form has to offer. When you don't, you feel trapped and you will spend your life trying to get out of here. And this is, as I've addressed many times, the core of most religions and spiritual teachings. It's trying to figure out how to get away from this because one hasn't figured out how to make it work. And how to make it work is in essence simple. But it takes time to learn. And this is what I'm teaching. I always say that the, the transcendence, which is what most spiritual teachings focus on, is the easy part. That's just one part of it. The proof of the pudding is the incarnation. Now, when we learn, when we try to study through our own karma, we will be confronted with the difference between how we believe things are and what life actually is. And that dialogue is basically your karmic journey. And to truly understand, you need to de-identify, you need to move into a higher level of consciousness where you can see the bigger picture, where you can connect spiritually and understand yourself as essence and consciousness. And then you transcend, which means working out your karma in a specific space and getting to that level where you fully understand what you're dealing with without any form of identity or intention. And then we think we're free, but no. You have the overview. You basically have understood the handbook, but you haven't practiced yet. So the next movement is going from transcendence and insight and realization, and then practice it. You have to bring it down again into matter, into form, into incarnation, and test out if your realizations are real, if they work in real life. This part is a missing link in spiritual studies, and this is what we emphasize on. Many of you have already, uh, through your incarnations, had plenty of experience with transcendence, and yet you're here, so it didn't work. So it's giving you the missing piece of the puzzle, the missing link in spiritual work, and understanding that you have to master it here, in this form, this is not stopping you. This is what liberates you once you master it. Because truth is the same in all dimensions, in all forms. So nothing can possibly stop you but your own ignorance. So if you can't make it work here, you can't make it work anywhere else.